Back at Daytona, <clears throat> we are under caution here for the second time today in lap 16, a major melee off of turn four. And there are the remains of the Casey King car. And there's the 10 car involved. Also, John Andretti, the Camping World Toyota. One of the quicker cars in the field today. And let's see if we can show you what happened. Uh, again, it was an incidence of a car getting in the middle. Rusty? Yeah, the 41 car, Casey Kane, got in there. You see he loses his downforce. Guys, you just don't want to be in the middle. We talked earlier about you get 15 to 20 laps in this race. These cars are starting to really handle bad. All you cup guys sitting in your buses, listen right now. Listen up. These cars, the handling's going away about this time. You saw... The 41 car of Mears get right there and lose it. We saw the same thing happen in the earlier wreck with the 10 car of John Andretti. These things really start wiggling around, and I was concerned about this, Jerry. Here's Reed Sorensen. Watch his car in the middle here. The back starts to turn. He turns the steering wheel, Rusty, but I guess it's, it's all over then. Well, when you come off the corner, Jerry, you can't let that car run out up towards the racetrack. You're kind of compacted down to the middle. It causes your car, if you do have a loose car, just to get loose there. And so that's the biggest problem that happened here. A lot of carnage right now. The guys in the back, look at all that smoke as a driver. Man, how do you get through that? These guys are just on the brakes, off the brakes, talking to their spotters. This is one of the toughest things for a driver. Look at all that smoke. Yeah. This this is what we were talking about earlier. These cup guys are in this race, and they got a different aero package to adjust to. That's Reed Sorensen. He's been driving a cup car, drove one this morning in practice, and I think that they're just getting, you know, they just have a different feel with these bush cars that they're not quite used to. All right, here the cars come off turn four. That's the miles per hour for Reed Sorensen. You see suddenly the car just goes sideways and watch the speed just drop off. Burton involved the 27 car. Bobby Hamilton Jr. got nudged on both sides, but the heavier damaged cars are the number nine of Casey Kane, and the front end of that car almost gone. He was turned right into the wall, Andy, almost head on. Here's the 10 car. Tough break for John Andretti, the runner-up by one point a year ago for Rookie of the Year here in the NASCAR Bush Series. Thought they had a shot to win this in the Todd Braun machine. They push that car back to the garage area. Jerry, I think i got to make a correction. I've been calling the 41 case of mirrors. I'm used to driving for Gat Kanaski so much. Actually, Reed Sorensen lost that car off there. I apologize, folks, about that. Still getting used to these colors. Here's the 47 of John Wood. I guess, yes, he is the uh, third mem third generation of the famous Wood Brothers. His grandfather uh, is Glenn Wood, dad Eddie Wood. John will be driving all year in this series after qualifying so well to start this race back in third spot. Onboard camera shot. We take you right along with David Rudiman. Three wide, three wide, got one in the middle. Three wide, still three wide. Let's spin it, go bottom, go low, go low, go low. Come on, come on. All right, now, All right, start backing it down, start backing it down. Good job, back your speed down as you go down through there. All right, how about riding along with Sam Hornish, who's up in the middle of the racetrack when this all broke loose? Spin in front of you, just keep coming straight. Couldn't do nothing about it. You're right in the middle of it. That was the Jason Leffler car right in front of him that peeled away. And I guess, Rusty, if you're Sam Ornish in those situations, you pretty are, pretty much are helpless. Jerry, that was one of the greatest videos you just saw, our replays on our ESPN high-definition in-car cameras, because you saw what you see as a driver. It's so much spoke, you're just hoping that you make it through. Now, look, he hasn't had much damage. A little dent in the left front fender. Evidently, the front of that car is braced up pretty good. So he's going to be just fine. But I'll tell you what, that is exactly what you see as a driver. Well, totally it's out a, of control. It's amazing. And remember what Alan Bestwick told us about the fact that uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., this guy, and Tony Stewart, the guy right behind him, had a little discussion about, hey, guys, let's just take it easy. Let's lay back early on instead of being a rocket early on. And if they, by laying back, hey, guess what? They stayed out of this mess. Yeah, but he's still taking a chance of getting in it. 